Welcome to the vibrant world of Vietnamese coffee. In this video, we'll explore all the various flavors that Vietnam is known for, from the indulgent delights of the iconic egg coffee to the tropical notes of coconut coffee, and of course, the timeless classic of white coffee with condensed milk. And there is so much more. And of course, we will taste it all. So let's grab our first coffee. Vietnam is famous for its coffee and you have that famous drip coffee where it's condensed milk with a drip of really nice and strong coffee and it gets that really nice caramel flavor. I normally don't drink coffee but Vietnamese coffee because it's so sweet and so caramelly, I like that. But this is the iced version because I've had the other version before and I'd really love to try the iced version and it's a really great way to start your day and it's really hot outside here so mm. this is really nice i have to say this is for me the only way i can drink coffee i think because it's so sweet because of the condensed milk but still the bitterness of coffee which to me is on almost on the edge of like too bitter for me too coffee-ish for me but the sweetness gives it a caramel hint and that I really love this. Oh, and here in Vietnam, they call this white coffee because of the condensed milk in it. But you can call it Vietnamese coffee. They will understand what you mean. But for the locals, they call it white coffee. But don't go anywhere because Tim has a really favorite or a really special twist on it. Because here in Vietnam, they have so many different coffees. So let's turn the camera around and let's see what coffee Tim has. Come here, come to me, camera, camera, come to me, come to me. So I'm having another Vietnamese classic, which is coconut coffee. You can still see the coconut milk in the bottom, but I'm first of all going to stir to mix it, because then you get all the flavor. And just for your information, I'm a sucker for coconuts. I love coconut milk, I like food with coconut milk, and also bounty and all the things like coconut candy, I really love it, so I'm really excited for this one and it's really a classic and a favorite in Vietnam. Oh, nice. Yeah, really sweet. I don't taste that much coconut. Wait, try and give it another try. Mm, really nice. Really nice and sweet, very really creamy as well. I think I really love the creaminess of it. I'm not sure if, if I wouldn't know that this is coconut milk, I would identify it as coconut, but it's still very, very nice. It's really good coffee. I really love this. I need to correct him because I took a sip of his coffee. Mm. Bam, coconut in your face. There's a lot of coconut here. Tim just said he has difficulty because it's so bitter. The coffee is bitter and he also doesn't drink coffee that much. So that's what hits him first, but I think this is really awesome. I actually think I like the coconut coffee better than my version because it is a very nice addition. It gives it a really nice new vibe. For coffee lovers, this is the way to go, I think, because it's, yeah, it's a new experience, so. Okay, second try. <laughs> so I just had a step from the white coffee and now I had this one again and now all of a sudden the first thing that hits me is the coconut. The first time I just didn't taste it and now I do taste it quite a lot and it's really immediately there and it's really really amazing which makes this coconut coffee even more amazing because I love coconut. It's really great. Now that I finally taste the coconut that I'm supposed to taste, I have no idea what was happening with my mouth. Maybe it was, it was too early or I just needed to uh, a completely different flavor first to, to set it apart or something, I have no idea. Really weird, but yeah. It's like I have now a completely dif different drink than before, it's really crazy. In Vietnam, coffee is more than just a beverage. It's a cultural cornerstone, a tradition steeped in meticulous craftsmanship and a love for the high quality coffee beans cultivated in the lush landscapes of this beautiful country. Join us as we delve into the heart and soul of Vietnamese coffee culture, where every sip tells a story of passion, tradition and excellence. Subscribe to our channel for more Vietnam videos. But now, time for more coffee. So 
So we're in Vietnam and that means a lot of coffee, so we're trying another one. We are at Cheese Coffee, the Pasteur location, which has a gorgeous building by the way. It's really amazing. But I have the salted cream coffee and it really looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, but I now need to destroy it because I want to mix all the layers. So, uh, bye! Yeah, it's really like the, the Vietnamese coffee with the condensed milk, but also a hint of saltiness. So really sweet, but also a little salty. Quite nice. Maybe I can try to get some of the foam layer as well. Yeah, that's yeah, quite nice. It's nice with the salty hint. It's already sweet, the, the Vietnamese coffee is always sweet because of the condensed milk. Well, now with the hint of salt, it's actually quite nice. It's a nice uh, balance. So uh, definitely a good choice. We asked some locals, what is your favorite flavor of Vietnamese coffee? And this is what they said. Uh, my favorite coffee is the coffee mixed with coconut. Uh, my favorite coffee is the white coffee with condensed milk. Yes, my favorite coffee is minced coffee. I like Vietnamese coffee. Yeah. I like black coffee, so we can stay away when we uh, drink it. I don't like coffee, I like food, tea. <laughs> Okay, it's time for another coffee speciality from Vietnam. Today we're having the salted coffee, which is a speciality from Huey, where we also are now. You can also get it in other cities in Vietnam, but it's originally from Huey. So we are going to try it here in the favorite coffee shop that was recommended by our tour guides. Um, and actually it looks really local. Normally you realize that when people don't speak English and it's the same here, but it looks really amazing. It's a really nice place, very modern, very, very hip, it looks gorgeous. And the coffee is like almost like half foam and there's only a little coffee on the bottom and you get the ice in a separate glass. So you can put in as much as you want. But I will probably just taste it first without the ice. Ooh. It's really salty. It's like really like cream, foam cream, but really, really salty. No, not too salty, but really salty. What a strange experience. But I will put in some ice because I think it's better because the coffee is also not hot. It's like lukewarm. So I think with the ice, it's better. So mind blowing. Like all the flavors together, it's really nothing like I've had before, but it really works. It's really, really amazing. I could drink this more often. I have no idea how they make the the salted cream or foam cream. I don't know what to call it. It's, it's something in between foam and cream. But uh, this is really amazing. I love it. Awesome. So if you're in Huey or if you're not going to Hawaii, but at least to Vietnam, then definitely try the salted coffee. It's really amazing. In Hanoi, we found another coffee, a banana coffee. And I'm just going to give it a go. It's coffee with banana taste, I think. And this is an iced version because we asked the waiter and he said the best was the iced version instead of the hot one. It's very sweet. It's the sweetest coffee I've had so far, I have to say. I'm trying to... Because the bitterness of the coffee is really there, and I still am not used to drinking coffee that much, so I'm trying to find the banana vibe. No, no. It is there, there is something there. But it's really weird because of the bitterness of the coffee for me. But I do like the whole thing, because it's very sweet and very light. I just have to get over the first initial bitterness of the coffee. There is banana flavor in it, but it is subtle, I have to say. So, but I do like the, I do like the whole, I do like the whole drink. Even though the banana is subtle, I can recommend you trying this. And if you are a coffee lover, then you probably get the banana flavor more easily than me. Cheers. We 
we've arrived at our final destination in Vietnam, in Hanoi. And this is where the most famous specialty coffee comes from, the egg coffee with egg yolk and sugar. Uh, this was made in 1946 because there was a scarcity of milk products. And then they used egg yolk and sugar instead. So we are at Cafe Jiang in Hanoi and that is where the egg coffee was born and invented in 1946. Mm. It's so much creamy. It's so much sugary egg yolk, which I already love, but I don't really reach the the coffee. I think I have to mix it a little first. Oh, look at this. It's so creamy, it's so thick. There's so much egg yolk, so much foam, until you reach the coffee. This is really amazing. Oh, the, the cream, the, 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 wow. I love it. This is really amazing. I think I would also try to make this at home. This is really, really awesome. But now comes Dennis with another twist on this super famous coffee from Vietnam. So stay tuned. So I actually have the honors of closing off the Vietnamese coffee video. But this is not coffee, because I don't really like coffee that much, I guess I told you. I do love the Vietnamese coffee, but here at Cafe Giang, they also have egg cacao, which is hot chocolate with a layer of egg foam, and then they pour over a lot of cacao dust as well. That egg foamy layer is amazing. I already saw Tim gushing about it. Mmm. Wow. It is not custardy at all i thought it was going to be a little bit custardy or something but it's not it's really foamy really sweet really awesome mm. so if you're not a coffee lover you can find your own twist they even have matcha egg or egg matcha and you have so many different types and flavors i want to get a bit of the hot chocolate as well Mm. This is such a nice way to drink hot chocolate. Just that foamy layer is just amazing. Anyway, we hope you liked seeing this Vietnamese coffee video. We had some really nice experiences. And especially for two not real coffee lovers, it was a really nice, well, a nice discovery, a nice exploration of new flavors. And I actually got to appreciate coffee more than I did before but I'm still a, a huge sweet tooth so I really need a lot of those condensed milk and other flavors in it to appreciate it but yeah cheers let us know what would be the coffee that you would want to try out of this video what would get your hopes up I think we closed off with the best one the egg coffee and egg chocolate but yeah the, we had some really great flavors thanks for watching subscribe if you haven't already and like this video and you can also check out our blog www.stoffer.nl to get more details on Vietnam or all the other destinations that we've been to. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.